So here's the deal. I, I go down to, to Florida, you know, obviously we weren't doing regular shows, the regular schedule. And uh, the reason why is because I got this, this house that I'm setting up. And so we go down to this house and it's just boxes. My wife has been ordering everything we need for this house and having it shipped there. And so when we got there, we walked into an empty house. It's a new build. We walk into an empty house that's just piles of boxes of things that we have to put together. And, and it's the opposite of fun. So we get there late on Saturday, get up Sunday, build the first bed so that we have a better place to sleep. <laughs> and um, then I go, you know, I got to upload my, my podcast episode. I'd edited it on the plane on Saturday on the flight down. I'd edited the whole show. So I'm like, all right, cool. I'm going to go and upload it. I go to find my computer and I don't have my computer. And I'm like, what the fuck is going on here? How do I not have my computer? Now, like I said, I pulled it out on the plane because I was working on it because I was editing the show. That's the last time I had seen it. And I went, did I leave my computer on the fucking airplane? So here's something that I didn't know. If you want to call like, I don't know, uh, an airport or maybe the specific airline you were on and the office at that airport, there is not a phone number for these things. It does not exist. There are call trees and the call tree will tell you, go to our website or download our app and fill out a thing. So I did, and I go on Delta's thing, and it's their, like, you know, you claim a missing item. So I have to go in there and explain everything and what flight I was on and where I was coming from and what the device is and blah, 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 blah. I put in all this stuff. At the end of it, I submit it, and they're like, all right, well, we'll probably get back to you within three weeks. And at that time, if we do locate the item, we'll uh, let us know where to ship it to. And I'm like, what? This, I, 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 this is all my stuff. This is, I need this. There's, there isn't a thing in my life besides producer Chris that I need more than this computer to do it's this show. It's a nuclear football. <laughs> it's, it's how so, did you... How? Dude, I've been asking myself that. How the fuck did I, A, not put my computer back in my bag, uh-huh. and B, not notice that it's sitting on the floor wherever it was yeah. as I'm getting off that, the airplane? That's what I'm wondering. Did you put it in like the sleeve behind the chair or something? No. I mean, I wouldn't. I, I remember... I was almost out of batteries. I was on a 5% and I'm watching it render and it just rendered in time. Like sweet, close it up and put it back. Now I must've not put it in the bag, but under the bag. That's uh, all I can figure. Okay. Cause I, it, it doesn't make any sense. I wasn't drunk. I had to go get my rental car. It, none of it makes any sense. Okay. Fortunately. Can I say, I, I believe you weren't drunk, but if I were watching Chad say that, it was very strange <laughs> that you slipped that in for no reason. <laughs> it's not like I was shit faced. Well, because no, sometimes he, on an airplane. He's saying I had no, to drive. I yeah. Because so, he would have been drunk. Yeah, no, I mean, I'd, I'd rather be drunk on an airplane than not. But, you know, yeah. I, we had to get there, get a rental car. And, right. and by the way, where this house is, is nowhere near the airport. This is an important <laughs> thing to note. This is a long drive. Oh, no. Okay. So I put out, I fill out the thing. And now I'm like, now what do I do? So my wife says, you got to drive to the airport. You got to see if they have it at the airport. And I go. What the fuck are the chances that's going to be a thing? You know what <laughs> I mean? Anyone see Carl's laptop? <laughs> yeah. Right? Because all I'm thinking is, chances are, I didn't just hide it on myself. I hid it on everyone. It's still on that same airplane. Right. That's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking that that, that, that computer's in Atlanta or Chicago or San Francisco. Like That computer is gone. Right. But my wife says, you got to drive to the airport. And I go, yeah, you're right. So I quickly get in the rental car. And drive to the airport. As I get off, this is a long drive again. As I get off on the final exit and I'm going down airport way or whatever it's called, I realize I forgot my wallet. And I yell out, <laughs> fuck! Just like that. I, I, I'm i not a guy like has conniptions and freaks out about shit. No, he isn't. Wow, did I freak out about that. I was like, are you fucking kidding me? Because... I don't know if you know this about airports, but they charge for parking. <laughs> they so, charge for moving. They charge for everything. Yeah. So I'm like, how the fuck am I going to get into this airport oh. now? Do I have to turn around and drive all the way back? I already think I have a 10% chance of getting this thing. Oh, my God. And now I'm like, do I have to drive all the way back and then all the way back again and then all the way back again? What am I going to do? So I see that there's like this uh, gas station. It's kind of like your last stop before the airport. And I pull in there and it's a mile away from the airport. And I go, well, I guess I'm going to walk to the airport. And then I'm thinking, that's going to be 20 minutes each way. My computer's probably not even even fucking there. It's a million degrees out. I'm in South Florida. So then I fucking have a brilliant idea. And I went, oh, I have my phone. I'll get an Uber. 
So I call an Uber. I get an Uber to take me to the airport. <laughs> I go in the airport. I go up to information. I say, is there like a lost? In- I left my laptop on an airplane. You should have seen me too. I'm just like, um, this is kind of important to me. It's kind of like, um, like I'll, I'll probably have to kill myself <laughs> if, I, if I can't get this back. So uh, the woman's like, well, the Watson found is closed on the weekends. Great. She goes, but there is like, um, you know, like if your baggage doesn't come or yeah, yeah, people yeah. leave it there, there's like a little office mm-hmm. for each airline. She goes, the Delta uh, baggage thing is, is down there at the end. So I go, okay. Are there people there today? She goes, I think so. I'm like, all right. So I'm st- I'm not liking my chances here because typically that's where they they put luggage that either didn't make it there and then yeah. made it there later or that people just left. It's like the dead letter office. Right, right. So I go in there and there's two people working there. I don't know why. But whatever. <laughs> there's two people working there. I go in there. And I'm like, guys, I am hoping you have some good news for me. I left a laptop on uh, an airplane out of Atlanta last night, and they go, what color was it? And that's a good sign. Uh, gray, it's a gray MacBook, sir. He's like, does it look like this? Pulls out my fucking laptop. Holy shit! This is amazing. Uh, is that a laptop behind your ear, sir? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Mike, when, when I tell you the range of emotions oh, that were going on yeah, this day, yeah. I'm, I'm elated at this point. Like, I can't fucking believe this is yeah. happening. Um, it was kind of funny because, like I said, my battery had died. Yeah. So they're like, well, can you turn it on, sir, Like to prove that it's mine? I'm like, no, it's dead. So then they're like asking me all these questions and they're like, well, who was sitting next to you and what seat were you in? And, you know, I knew, I knew the answer. So that was good. So they gave me the, the laptop and then, and then I went to go take a taxi and I'm like, oh, do you guys take Apple pay? Like, no, like, oh, fuck, that's right. So I had to get another Uber back to my car (laughs) and then back to my house. Now the house, this is the thing that I didn't understand when I bought this house. We, like I said, new build. Brand new house. No one's ever lived there before. They just built it. And I think of it like a new car. I love buying new cars. New cars are brand new. They work great. There's no miles on it. It's amazing. Everything works. It's it's under fucking warranty for Christ's sake. A new house, very different. Because what happens with a new house, this is what I learned, is that it's not just one guy who goes in there, builds the whole thing, and goes, yep, did another bang up job. It's all these different people making all these mistakes that no one checks on. Right. There's, there, there's no, like, like the, the, the plumber gets done putting the faucets in the fucking wrong, uh, you know, the, the hot and cold in the exact opposites. Yeah, and you're not there to sign off on it. And I'm not there to sign off on it. And it's not like the fucking guy who goes in and does the electrical work is going to be like, well, let me check what this plumber did. Yeah. You know what I mean? So we have all these fucking problems. And the biggest problem of all, it's so frustrating, but the biggest problem of all is that we're on well water. We're far enough away from civilization mm-hmm. that we don't have city water, which is fine. We have a whole system there. Mm-hmm. It's, it's a nice new house, you know? There's a whole system in there that makes the water potable and, and does all these things. Or, it, or does it? It doesn't. So <laughs> the water that we have coming out of the faucets, and I, I was on Paco's Power Hour last night. Shout out to Paco. You can see me on his uh, YouTube channel on there talking about Primus' The Brown Album, if you're interested in watching that. Uh, I actually got three guys who've never listened to Primus before to sit down and listen to the entire oh, album. Wow. I know, it was fun. So as I was talking about with Paco, it's the water has sulfur in it. It smells like, like rotten eggs. if a rotten egg took a shit. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This happened. I my mean, grandparents built a house recently and mm-hmm. same thing. I mean, I, I, I realize that like sulfur has a distinct smell to it, mm-hmm. but this is over the top. To the point where when I left to go to the airport and then come back, I came in the house. I go, what is going on in here? To my wife. She goes, I'm sorry. I was running the water because I thought I could like. Yeah, get it to dissipate. Yeah, right. Like maybe it just been built up and we just need to like get it out sure. of the system or whatever. So the entire house reeked like stuttering John. It was bad. <laughs> and now we have to fucking shower in this fucking nonsense. Yeah. And if it just touches your face, you feel like you're eating shit. I'm not even exaggerating. You feel like you're eating shit, like you're you're showering in shit water. <laughs> How great would it be? You said it smelled like stuttering, John. How great would it be if this house turned you? You're like, so I'm tipping back a few Coors Lights. <laughs> and, yeah. and I'm, yeah. and I'm yeah. feeling it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so <laughs> some weird shining sort of uh, yeah, thing. Yeah, <laughs> he, he's always been here. <laughs> so we we call we call the fucking uh, the whatever company is in charge of the water system or whatever. 
and they go, well, this isn't an emergency. We'll we'll get out there when we get out there. It stinks. Yeah. I'm like, I'm like, what do you mean this isn't an emergency? This is insane. I can't I can't live like this. Um. So, anyway, long story short, in order to make the fucking water drinkable and not stink like shit, we have to buy like this. It's very expensive unit and system and get that installed. And it's not even that like if it was just one thing, it was just like, well, here's a bunch of thousands of dollars you have to pay to get this thing. I'd be like, fine, whatever. But everything's a fucking subscription now, too. Mm. So it's like, all right, pay all this shit ton of money. And then every month pay us this much money. Like, why? What do you mean? But that's the fucking that's the deal. And then, you know, my wife is more optimistic than I am, I guess. She's going, yeah, but Carl, if anything ever breaks, they'll fix it. Like, well, they, yeah, they fucking better. I'm, I'm buying it and I'm paying them forever. I, I would hope they would keep the thing up and running for me. That seems like a bare minimum thing that you would do if I'm paying them monthly forever for the rest of my life. So um, anyway. Wow. So the whole, the whole time. So I, I try to do a show with Vinny. Like I said, um, you know, Monday morning, we're just opening up boxes. We're just building shit. We're setting things up. It's just, it's just not stop the amount of work that we have to do. And I'm, I told Vinny, I'm like, I'll do the creep off with you, though. And I'll pull Nancy Grace clips and we'll get a whole thing going. So I got all that. Oh, I got my my uh, Internet hooked up on Sunday, which is amazing. Xfinity came out, got the the Internet, Wi-Fi, fast as shit. Great. And uh, so I go on with Vinny and I, I, I did all this research. My poor wife is <laughs> building shit. And I'm sitting there listening to Nancy Grace and pulling clips. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I know, I'm like an asshole. Both hard at work. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I mean, it's not too different from around here. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, we have more help around here, but I know what you mean. <laughs> so then um, I uh, I get everything ready to go. I go on with, with Vinny and my Wi-Fi is shit for some reason. And I keep freezing up. I'm trying to play clips and that's not working. So eventually we just decide okay well fuck it this isn't gonna happen <sighs> so then i have to figure out my internet situation because i need to get that working anyway i guess my i don't want to dwell on all, all of the negative things but um if, if i could do it over again i would have done a lot of things very differently <laughs> i guess is my point it was a fucking disaster and a debacle of a, of a fucking week it was so much goddamn work it was no fun my first vacation of the years i i you know there was just all work to do and stress and then to come back to people just like oh and fucking carl's phoning it in here with these episodes <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> lazy oh, fuck <laughs> oh that, that's the other thing so remember mike originally i was like look I'm, I'm flying back in i'll be in by five o'clock and i was planning on doing prep before that and doing wats at six like we always do yeah i'm like i'll hurry back from the airport we'll do it and then last week around the show at the end i go you know what this is insane what am i thinking i'm not gonna be able to be ready for the show let's skip this week thank yeah. god i said that because we get our connection in washington dc at reagan and um, we only had like 30 minutes. So we're like, you know, yeah, hurrying. Yeah. It's a different terminal. We're hurrying over to the gate, make sure we get there in time. And um, it's delayed four hours. Mm. And I uh, go up to the gate and I'm like, oh, what's, what's going on? I see the airplanes there, which is a good sign. I like it when the airplane's there. <laughs> I go, uh, oh, what's going on? They're like, oh, the crew's stuck in Boston. And of course, because of Cardiff, we have all this fucking bullshit going on <laughs> with the wildfires. <laughs> So I don't know <laughs> if people are like, like they're shutting down airports and baseball games. I don't know what's going on. Yeah. <laughs> so they, they delayed it. It was supposed to leave at three. It ended up being eight. <laughs> that our flight left. Oh God. Jeez. So I was stuck in this fucking airport. And it, listen, it's not the end of the world. It was funny. Cause I talked to um, my realtor, James. He's like, Oh, how was the trip back? I go, well, we were stuck in fucking Reagan airport for five hours. He goes, that's an expensive five hours. I go, yeah, no shit. <laughs> sit, sit in the PF Changs with nothing to do for five hours and see what that bill runs up to. <laughs> oh my god. So anyway, um, all all around uh, horrible experience. Mm. But uh, I mean, the house is nice. It's got a nice view. <laughs> the pool is nice. Can't it's wait quite to a try. Comedy it. of errors. Maybe I'll have Hack Red make a cartoon about this. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Podcast, W-A-T-E.